It's Local Edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz. Thank you so much for joining us again. Our guest is Elizabeth Cochran. Professor Cochran teaches at UC Riverside. Her specialty is seismology, earthquakes, and I am so excited to show you a technology she has developed. It is called a quake catcher network. Is that what's called QCN? That's right. And you can put it on your laptop. I'll shut up. You tell me about it. <laughs> All right, so we have this software that you can download to your laptop or to any desktop computer. Mm -hmm. And what we're doing is we're um, recording earthquakes just in people's homes and offices. So a laptop, most laptops now have these accelerometers in them, internal to them. So the idea, the reason they're in there is because if you drop your laptop off the table, right. it's supposed to park your hard drive. So it doesn't get damaged. But the best part is for little boys like me who love earthquakes, there's that side benefit, which is mm -hmm. we can use your software, which you can download for free, mm -hmm. to watch the seismic wave should there be an earthquake in my home or in my city or state or whatever it may be. That's right. Can we open the computer and take a look? Sure. Okay, so here we go. And what we have here is I pres does this computer have an accelerometer? This, this laptop does have an accelerometer internal to it. But in case your computer mm -hmm. doesn't, you have provided us with an external accelerometer. That's right. How do you get an external accelerometer? Um, so you can just order one from our website, which is qcn.stanford.edu. And they're $50. And with that, you can download free software that runs in the background on your computer. Uh -huh and it'll record earthquakes. Okay, so let's take a look at the screen right now. It appears that we have no earthquake activity, mm -hmm. but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be a bad boy, <laughs> and I'm gonna take this accelerometer and shake it a bit. Okay, and so we can see on the screen mm -hmm. that there's some earthquake activity. Why don't you yep. tell us, as I get a little more <laughs> radical, what we're seeing? All right, so what you're seeing here is you're seeing um, the different components of motion, so how the ground is moving in three directions. So we have three different axes here. And um, we can also see how large the motion is. And so okay. what you're doing right now is um, probably equivalent to a magnitude 7 or 8. So oh, that's this a big is, one. Yes, this that, is a big one. And so that would be <laughs> similar to the Chinese earthquake a couple of years mm -hmm, ago? Yep. What about, um, we've had some pretty serious earthquakes in our communities, yep. five, six. Mm -hmm. So would that be around here? That's probably closer closer to the to the level of shaking. Maybe a little faster though. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, and let's talk about that because you know, I have grown up in, mm -hmm. in California and what I have noticed is earthquakes feel different. Mm -hmm. You know, some feel kind of as if I'm on the ocean and yep. it's a wave. Some can feel very sharp. Yep. So explain that. So that's all based on how far away you are from the earthquake. Oh, okay. So if you're very close to the earthquake, it's a sharp jolt. So you'll normally feel it as someone taking your house and just shaking right, it really right. fast. And then if you feel the slow rolling motion, that's from an earthquake that's far away. And it's just because those really sharp waves, they die out quickly as you go away from the So why shock. are we living in what's known as earthquake country? What's around us that makes us more susceptible to earthquakes? So we're right on the plate boundary. So the boundary between two tectonic plates is along the San Andreas. So presumably most of your audience has heard of the we San have, Andreas. Yes. That's where we can expect some of the largest earthquakes up to about a magnitude eight. And those eight. two plates are our continent and the Pacific Ocean? Um, is that, so, am I saying it correctly? Yeah, so <laughs> one of them's the North American plate and one of them's the Pacific plate. Got and it. we're actually here sitting on the Pacific plate. Even though we're on land, mm -hmm. we are not part of the North American plate. That's right. So anything west of the San Andreas is on the Pacific plate. That, that's correct. So that's why they say we could fall off the yeah. state of California? <laughs> we, won't, we won't actually fall into the ocean. We'll just move towards San Francisco. Okay, a lot of fun. Elizabeth, thank you so much for joining us. She is a professor at UC Riverside. You can download the software at qcn.stanford.edu. I'm Brad Pomerance. Thanks for watching Local Edition. Back to HLN.